In today's video, we're gonna cover four different settings inside of the Apple Home app that I think make all the difference. Whether you're new to setting up your Apple Smart Home or you've been doing it for years like me. Welcome back to my channel, I'm Eric Wielander and on this channel we talk about Apple and Smart Home tech. So if you're into either of those things, consider subscribing. Now here in Apple Home, I've gone into my office room, which is where we are right now. And the first setting that makes all the difference in my view is going into room settings and selecting the zone your room is in. So in this case, we're down in my basement, which I call the lower level, but I can go here and set the zone to be downstairs, outside, upstairs. And then what this allows you to do is you can tell your HomePods or other versions of Apple's voice assistant to turn off all the lights on the lower level or downstairs or any other kind of blanket command for that particular zone. For example, if you wanna play music that you're currently playing on one HomePod, if you wanna play it on all the HomePods or other AirPlay speakers you have on that floor, you say, hey, and then the voice assistant play this music downstairs and it'll play it all over the downstairs zone. But that's only if you get this setting right where you assign the rooms to a particular zone in your home. And of course, if I wanted to create a new zone, I could just create a new zone here and uh, have that be where this is. And the other cool detail here that I really like is that you can have a room in multiple zones because there might be some kind of gray area where you want a room to be included in multiple zones. For this, I'm just gonna keep it at lower level because that works for me. But either way, think about the zones you wanna put your rooms in because it makes it so much easier to command music or lighting in your smart home. The next thing on my list is if you see here with my scenes in my office, and this applies across my home, but these scenes are easy to quickly identify because they have these nice icons here in the home app that you can understand. And those icons also carry into control center controls. If I wanted to put a control here, I have wake up and bedtime. Those are actually shortcuts, which I'll get into probably in a different video. And this is a setting that's pretty easy to change. So let's say I wanna change this office dim to give it an icon. It just has the default home icon right now. I can go ahead and hit the edit scene option and then tap on that home icon and then I can choose the color I want as well as any particular icon. Maybe I want office dim to be associated with a gaming scene, right? So I pick the game controller, hit check, that's gonna change it. And so that way when that scene is on, it will go ahead and light up that controller with green on the UI so I can see that it's on. But then it also just gives it that icon that makes it easier to find even when the scene is off. So you'll see here, my bedtime scene is active and that has a purple color lighting up the bed icon. The next one is something we don't even have to leave this screen to see, which is the types of either plugs or smart switches. So if you have smart plugs in your home, you can customize the type of those smart plugs. So for example, I have this Philips Hue smart plug here and I can go into accessory settings and you'll see the room is assigned the office, of course. And this is a smart plug from Philips Hue. It's not a light bulb or anything else, but I can hit display as and I can choose an Apple home, whether it's a fan, a light or an outlet. Now, if I'm selecting it as a fan, then it will change the icon to show it as a fan. Now with a smart plug, it's really just gonna have an on off state. And then from there, it'll also show up in the climate tab of your home, right? So if I go over here to the climate tab, you'll see all the different climate related things in my home like thermostats, shades and blinds and smart fans. And then here you'll see the Hue smart plug that we just changed to be of type fan showing up in the climate tab. Now, if I go here again, I can choose to have it display as a light. And that's usually what I do because this is actually controlling a smart light here in my office. And so then if I set it as a light, then when I ask the voice assistant to turn on or off the lights in the office, then it will also turn on or off that smart plug. So this could be a great way to control a lamp that you already have in your home that's not smart. Just put a smart plug on it, assign it as type light inside of Apple Home, and then you can control it that way across 
all your different ways of controlling Apple Home. So we'll go back into the rooms to the office room here that we're talking about. And you'll notice that I also have some smart plugs that are not defined as a fan or a light. I have this controlling my A10 Mini Pro, which is actually a tool that I use for my live streams. I have pretty much every week here on my YouTube channel on Thursday nights, Central US time. Always a great fun thing to join and talk about smart home tech, ask me some of your questions, the latest news, etc. Now with display as, you'll see that I've checked the option for outlet, not fan or light on this one. And that's because I want to treat this as something that's smart that I can turn on or off. It turns on with my live streaming scene that I have to set up for my live streams here in my office, but I don't want it to be messed with in the climate tab for some reason, or I don't want it to be messed with for asking my HomePod to turn off all the lights because I might want the lights to be changed a certain way and it's not messing with my computer A10 Mini Pro uh, little board over here that I use for my live streams. And you know, live streams, tools are maybe a little bit esoteric, but this could be any utility thing you have where you don't want it to be considered a fan or a light. It's nice that Apple still gives you this smart outlet setting. For example, here in the parents' bedroom room in my home, if I go to the accessory settings for my air purifier, this is just a smart plug powering a non-smart air purifier. And then when this outlet cuts on, it's another example of where you might wanna have an outlet. And of course, I could give this an uh, icon, but unfortunately, Apple only has the icons for outlets localized to, you know, the different plug types from different parts of the world. Now, if I do change this to a fan, let's say for some reason, you have a few more options of fan icons you can show. So maybe a smart switch is controlling a ceiling fan. You could change the icon here. It'll make more sense. I could change it to a light, of course, and then I have way more different icon options for lights that could then parallel whatever you want. So I'm gonna change this back to an outlet because that's what I like to have in my home. Again, these settings make all the difference when you get them right. So the last one is something that will help your smart speakers and devices tell the difference between different devices in your home. So you might have more than one smart plug over time. You might have more than one l smart light bulb or smart switch. And then you might call one of them, let's say in your living room, you might call it a lamp right? But if you call all of them lamp, your HomePods might have trouble differentiating. Well, are you talking about all the lamps or just the one in this room? And it can kind of guess based on some of the context of what you're saying. But it's generally best, in my opinion, if each accessory across your smart home, each, you know, different thing you have has a unique name for it so that you can refer to it directly and it just helps your HomePod understand what's going on there. So what I do for that is that I give it a name with the room name before the accessory name. So for example, with that lamp I was talking about earlier, I have a lamp in my living room that has a smart bulb in it. And if I go here to the accessory settings, you'll see that I've called it living room lamp. Now the Apple Home app does a really cool thing with this where even though I've called the light bulb living room lamp, it will just show as lamp when I'm viewing it because Apple Home knows that I'm showing this in the context of stuff in the living room. So it'd be kind of redundant if the room name was sprinkled all over the screen, right? With living room fan light one, living room lamp. So those are just four different options for ways you can optimize your Apple home. And they're probably a long list of others, including what I think of as Apple home's most important feature, which you don't want to miss. And you can find out more about that in this video right over here on the screen. Also share in the comments with all of us if there are some tips and tricks with Apple Home that you find really useful. Thanks again so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.